Is this insulting to Sherm? Uh, like I said, if it's about business, it wouldn't be. And, you know, Richard Sherman's on the record saying just that. Uh, if it's about you having an elite player, recognizing that, but have an opportunity to parlay that into multiple pieces that you may need uh, for an exceptional player, then that's business. But if, if this is about his temperament, uh, how guys got to keep him calm down on the sideline or whatever, and it's one of those things where you're, you're, you're sullying his character and sort of pushing him out the door because you're trying to say he's not good for the franchise, then I think that's egregious. Uh, for three consecutive years before last season, they were number one in the NFL in terms of points allowed. They were number three last year. This guy was targeted 85 times, only 44 receptions took place. Quarterback passer ratings are like 64 against this guy. You know, he's disruptive in terms of man-to-man -man coverage. He's capable of, of doing a lot of good things, and he's clearly established himself as one of the elite corners in the game of football. You combine that with the fact that you've had trouble on the offensive side of the ball because your offensive line hasn't been impressive. Russell Wilson has therefore gotten injured. The running game, absent beast mode, hasn't been ultra impressive. There are a bevy of issues with the Seattle Seahawks. Richard Sherman shouldn't be one of them. And the fact that you've got the GM on the record talking about he's open to anything, it had damn well better be about business. And it better not be about something in terms of his character or whatever the case may be. Because the man can play. He's in the secondary with a Jeremy Lean and this guy Schneed or whatever. I don't want to hear about Richard Sherman being the problem for the Seattle Seahawks. They have a bunch of other problems to look at before you can even look in his direction as far as I'm concerned. They do have a bunch of other problems, and that's why, Stephen A., it's not an insult. Because any team that doesn't make the Super Bowl, if they think they're dealing from an area of strength to improve the team, especially if they're also getting younger and cheaper in the process, you, I would assume Richard Sherman is worth a first-round pick. I mean, if they get a third-rounder for him, that's a, that's a stupid idea. But you get a first-round pick, of course you entertain it. Look, Richard Sherman is totally excellent. That's why he has a lot of value. That's why they would entertain offers, because they would ostensibly be good offers. And with her, him and Earl Thomas in the defensive backfield, I love that for the Seahawks. I wouldn't change that. But as you mentioned, they have a lot of holes to fill since they traded Max Unger for Graham. That offensive line has not been good. They have not devoted enough resources to it. And the reality is they could be bet like they haven't been to the Super Bowl in a hot minute now. And this is a franchise that started to grow accustomed to it to get into the Super Bowl. Um, and so, so if Sherman has value, yes, he's a human being. Yes, he's a player, but he's also a commodity. And if you feel that you can price a commodity well or even maybe get more value than it's worth, you'd be foolish not to trade it. That's so, so it's certainly not insulting to Richard Sherman, though I wouldn't trade him unless someone bowled me over with an offer.